those of you who heard, welcome back to Kirby in the Forgotten Land. In the last episode, we completed one dairy remains, and now we're moving on to the next world right over this way. This is the Winter Horns, and we have the first level here, Northeast Frost Street. Yeah, it's like a whole frozen village. This is so cool. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Where, of course, we need to save more waddledies, as per usual, and probably a couple of other things along the way. So hopefully everything goes well. Whoa. So we're running around on the rooftops of these old snowed over buildings. Some of which have fallen apart. Can't go back that way. So cool though. We currently have the tornado ability which we upgraded in the last episode. Oh, and I, I do see this guy. I probably want whatever ability they're gonna give me. So, whoa, hold on. Who watch with the snowballs? Is there a snowball ability? Guess we could find out, but oh man. Oh no, I got rid of you. That's okay. Oh, this little snowman guy. Well, that's something. Destroy four animal snow sculptures, one out of four. So I'll have to look around for more of those. Seems like a pretty simple one to get done, though. Okay, and what about, got the cutter ability guy. I'm just gonna get rid of you real fast. It's so peaceful, though. I'm sure we're gonna run into tons of challenges and difficulties along the way, but as of right now, I'm very relaxed and enjoying this. Okay, I'm sorta curious. Do you have, like, at least the ice ability? You do. That's cool, but I think I want to keep with the ranger. With a noble ranger, of course. Oh my. There you go, got rid of you. It's able to shoot you from here. Get rid of that ranger too. I really do like the ranger ability so far, it's very useful. Oh, what's over here? Got some kind of secret, whoa, a huge amount of coins. Hey buddy, I don't want to wake him up, I don't have to. Can I wave at him? I can, but it doesn't wake him up. All right, well, that was something that was a uh, find the side alley. Wow, look at that view, though. We can see the bridge and everything. They've been doing such a good job at making all these environments so fun to explore and look at. Okay, so we'll hide over this way so that I can grab our first capsule of today's episode and get rid of you. Oh boy, gotcha. Can we get up this? No, we can't. Got some bread, though. Oh, there's a cutter guy behind the box. I was like, what was going on over there? And I see a vending machine that we probably want to get rid of. Oh, no. Yeah, let's get up here so I can maybe just shoot at you. There we go. Oh, and because of that, we can just get the vending machine. Very cool. So I'll break out all that. View, if I can. There was nothing to the right. Oh, they're peeking out from behind the box. It's very sneaky. Okay, get rid of that one. Oh, and that makes a pathway so we can get across. Nice. You, that. Can we break into this? Yes, we can. And we got another capsule for us. That's two out of three. I think that's actually for volume two because I had a different color to it which is interesting. And there's a warp star over that way, which we'll deal with soon enough. For now, though, I wanna bust through all this. We are starting to get a little low on cans, but hey, we have our first hidden waddle We saved ya. Saved the hidden waddle one out of four. So I'll have to keep working on it. I don't see anything else in the area, so I think we're good to keep going. <laughs> I love the waddle that Kirby has to do when he's a vending machine. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, I do see over this way, Another one of the animal sculptures, so that's two out of four. Okay, so far so good. We'll fly out of here and check out what's next. Oh my. This is looking a lot more perilous, a lot more difficult. We'll have to time our jumps well. Okay, avoid the snowballs and then take you out. Whoa, that didn't work. Oh, I got flattened, poor Kirby. Okay, can you stop that? I can't fire at you from here. There you go. Hop up here, get rid of that guy. I wonder if there's gonna be anything. No. But that makes for a pretty easy jump. Okay, go, go, go. Get rid of you while I can. And I did see that. I love all the cool jumps you can do. Like that. I gotta use that a little more often, I think. Just to dodge attacks and such. It would probably be pretty useful. Okay, we'll get rid of you. I don't quite know what's going on over this way. Oh, okay, I see. 
I think I got it. Okay, that opened up a door for a secret area. That'll be fun to try out. In the meantime, though, we gotta get back up. Maybe destroy a couple of enemies along the way. Get some food. See, let's try this out and see what we end up getting. Hmm. Oh, it's definitely another ranger thing. So, I don't need you. Already have the ability. So I can open that up. Can we give sort of rapid fire? That makes it easier. Awesome. So that's another Waddle Dee saved. I think this is only our second one, so there's definitely more to this level. But I don't see anything else around here. No other animal sculptures or anything like that. But I'll keep looking. So far we're doing quite well on this level though. I, I think we're accomplishing everything we're running into. Don't think we've missed anything, but whenever I think that, we end up missing something. So I guess we'll just keep being thorough. Gotcha. Ooh, what's down here though? Aha, I found ya! The third sculpture. Just looking for one more then. Gotcha. I said I'm flying off the side. Sorry. Oh, and there's a little secret over that way. Whoa, these snowballs are crazy. Watch it! Ah, run, Kirby! Okay, I got that thing. We'll have to go down and see what that is in a moment. It's another Wobbledy. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Three out of four. It almost looks like there's... No, nothing back there, okay. And I suppose we should check on this side, too. There is something. What's this about? Whoa, okay. It's another capsule. Okay, I'll happily take that. So that's capsule number three. And we can keep moving forward for now to see what else we can find. Gonna get rid of you. So we're looking for one more Waddle Dee and one more statue, as well as just something else. Not really sure quite what yet. Maybe I could knock that fence over, I guess not. Can I squish the still walls? I can. Okay, now go. Uh, okay, I thought that was gonna hurt. Turned out totally fine. I don't think there's anywhere else to put the ladder. It doesn't look like it. I wanna get rid of you first. And sort of take a look around. Because it seems as though there's something over here. I'm gonna squish real fast. And we get our fourth capsule this level. Usually you don't find that many. Ow, rude. Squish that stuff. Now we have to be careful for the bomb, but then hop out real quick. Oh. So there's definitely a way into this. I don't think firing at it is gonna work though. We'll get rid of you over here. Oh, and I do see the final snow sculpture up there to the top right, so we'll definitely make sure not to miss that. Huh. So how am I doing this then? I think what I have to do, we'll grab that in just a moment first. Boom, get rid of this. That's gonna be another one of the secret missions done. And we are going to try not to get hit too much. Then plop down this way. Yeah, we got it. Oh, now the, they popped out of the trash cans. Can I get past this without getting hurt? We're gonna find out. There we go. And then right here, boom. Whoa, watch it, squish him. I got him. That was scary. Oh, you're, you're up there. Okay, so what I have to do here then, eat that back up. And plop out here so that we can go and grab the final Waddle Dee. So now what we're missing is a Final secret mission, which I have no clue what it is, so if we don't find out now, we will complete the level and then it'll tell us. But hopefully we can figure it out on the way. Okay. So we will fire at you real quick. And it looks like the end of the level's coming up. Oh my, trying to dodge all that. What about this? I can't get up that way. I think we just have to hit all these buttons. Got it. I'm really not seeing anything else. That's sort of a bit of a letdown. 
Wait a minute. Well, what about this? You see all the birds over there? It scared the birds away, but that that didn't do anything. It seems like something that could have done something because it just seems a little odd, right? But that's not doing anything. Okay, well, we tried. I really don't see anything else around here, so I think we're good just to move on and find out what it was. Sort of a shame, but it is what it is. But still, a very cool starting level to the Frozen Horns, or whatever it was called. Reach the clock tower. Oh, I was supposed to go over there. Okay, that's at the very end of the level, so I'll have to rush through real quick. We got the lantern switch. Gigatso, yeah, this is from volume two. Or Jigatsu, probably. Blue star coin, that's a repeat. And ooh, here's something new. This is the Drill Kirby. Burrow underground with your mighty drill. You can use this to dodge enemy attacks. If you dig in certain spots, you might be able to sneak off into off-limit areas. <laughs> All right, very cool. So at least I know exactly what to do, where to go for that mission. So that shouldn't be too bad. I'll hop back in that level and get it done real fast. Well, what's going on over there? This is Metro on Ice. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Bye, Waddledees. Don't worry, your 10th friend will be joining you in just a moment, but it looks like we're also unlocking some bonus challenges that we'll complete later. Okay, back into Northeast Frost Street. Okay, I'm back here again. So I'm guessing, yeah, from this opening over this way, maybe we can make this jump? I guess it's more of a float. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> we get a bunch of coins for that too, and we just get a little star sending us back. So reach the clock tower, real easy. I just have to get to the end of the level again, which when you skip everything, honestly doesn't take too much time. So there we go, the first level of the Frozen Horn fully completed. I think that's what it's called. We'll find out in a second. <laughs> yeah, glad to get that out of the way. Honestly, for completion's sake, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that hard to get through everything, so that's nice. So here's that last little waddle dee. Ta-da, all oh, waddle dee's saved. Winter horns, that's what it is. Okay, let's head to the next level, which is Metro on Ice. Okay, so this will be a lot of fun. Always like going into areas like this. It's, it's sort of the subway, I guess, the Metro, yeah. But is there anything outside to start with? Doesn't look like it. Everything is just so frozen over here. Oh, we do have some new stuff here. Um. Get the sleep ability. Just in case we needed extra health. I love how we can just sort of slumber around and eventually we fall asleep. Unfortunately, I guess people can attack us when we're snoozing. I thought that maybe we'd be invincible or something. I guess I should try the ice ability. Seeing how it's a totally frozen area, it would make sense to try the ice ability a bit more. Okay, so what's going on down here? It's a bunch of frozen posters too. Can't really tell what they're advertising. Oh yeah, it's the two dogs from the amusement park. Or maybe they're supposed to be the fox characters we keep running into. I'm not really sure, whoa, watch it. Can we go on this ice? No, we can't, it's too frozen even for the ice ability. That's crazy. Okay, well we'll do, we'll do what we can to avoid that then. Go for you. You're really tough, gotcha. See, now we can send you flying over this way, <laughs> right into that guy, perfect. Gotcha, and we got some of our health back. See, this is like an advertisement for the roller coaster. Really cool to see that. I guess a Wondaria was a very popular place. I wonder if anything will pop up in the center if we get all these coins. Yep, even more coins, nice. Always good to earn up as much money as we can as we're adventuring around because we will need plenty of them to unlock all the secret collectibles and the upgraded abilities. Okay, so ooh, there, there's a capsule. Always good to get those two. So if I press the duck button, that also gives me sort of like another ice shield, which is nice. Hmm. Oh, and we can try the new crash ability we got in the last episode. That totally freezes time now or something. So I'll try to hop up there. Oh, oh, that didn't work. Oh no, I didn't time it very well. Stand on top of two trains. Okay, 
Well, hopefully we run into another train scene then. Stand on top of that one. Okay, what can I get instead here? Uh, I don't think any of these guys give us abilities, unfortunately. There we go, I can kick that. There is another crash ability though, so I think this time we'll lure him out, he'll wanna jump off. Got it. So we'll use that at some point. I think it's still a one-time use, it just lasts longer now. Grab some food, and let's go for it. Ready, go. Oh, you guys are in so much trouble. I think I can just go next to you now. Yeah, and I'll instantly take you out. How cool is that? What an ability, but there's more. We're not quite done. Jeez, this just goes crazy. This thing is super powerful. I would really like to use this against a boss fight just to sort of see how it goes. There's more. So does this just last as long as we have enemies to touch? Is that how this works? I suppose so, but we do get our upgraded hammer that we upgraded in the last episode. And I did see another train over this way, so we should be able to stand on this one, and there we go, stand on top of two trains. Whoa, and a bunch of coins. Don't mind if I do. Just sort of gonna let them come to me. And you get a huge pile of them again. So much fun. Okay, so so far so good we stood on top of two trains, but I do hear a waddle somewhere nearby. I think I need to hammer down these nails. That would make sense. All right, gotcha. And one more. Whoa, the whole platform's gonna move and underneath is a waddle to save. Don't worry, buddy. I gotcha. And we get some major coins for it too. Almost back up to 5,000. So what else do we have going on? I guess we're heading to the next area now. Gotta watch out for the falling icicles. Oh no. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, maybe I charged it up too soon. <laughs> Try to be ready for him. You never know. Okay, so what's going on with this? Hit that thing. Oh, there's another one up here. Whoa, what's this? A capsule. Don't mind if I do. That's our second one. It looks like, yeah, that poor platform's definitely gonna move. It might be good to get rid of all the enemies first. Maybe we'll go backwards on this one. Hit that thing. Just because I don't know if this is timed or not. But that moves another wall back. Find two secret passages, one out of two. So hopefully we didn't miss the other one. I'll look all over for it, of course. Whoa, this one looks tricky. So what are we doing here? First, I can go to the monkey, hit this. Oh, that makes another one. We're gonna get all five of these green things. Do I think open up a pathway somewhere? Okay. Got it. So there's probably gonna be one more. Whoa, that's scary. So we gotta do this quick before an icicle falls on me. Okay, we're good. And that's all five of them. Let's save that waddle -dee. And some extra food just in case we got hurt, but luckily I think we're full in health. Two out of four waddle -dees saved. So we needed to find the secret passage anyways if we wanted to get the, all the waddle -dees not just to get that one mission. Hmm. So yeah, this is where we were before, so we should be good for moving forward. Get the needle ability. And it looks like there's something sneaky over this way. What's the deal with this? Will this be another secret passage? Yes, it will. Okay, so I could have used the sleep ability there, but I'm full on health anyways, so I'm just gonna eat this up. Timber! Whoa, it's an invincibility candy. Okay, well, I'll certainly grab that. Maybe we'll run into a boss or something. I'm just gonna go as fast as I can with this thing. Go, go, go. Gotcha. I missed a coin, but once again, I don't wanna... I never know what the challenge is. It really could just be... Well, we saved the lot of the... It really could just be, you know, hit all the enemies with the, the candy, you know? So if I, if I can make the most of it, that's always a good idea. I don't think I missed anything there. It didn't look like it to me. 
because we found the two secret passages. So I don't know what that last thing is. Hopefully it didn't relate to that candy. Oh gosh, these enemies we haven't seen too much. Okay, so what's going on up this way? Because this seems to be sort of a bonus. Whoa, there's a new mouthful thing. It's a speaker. No, it's not. Oh, I, I thought it was a speaker. It is a speaker, it's just in a cone shape. So it's still sort of the cone ability. What's going on inside of here then? Oh, something. <laughs> that walk from Kirby is so adorable. This is all the weird little waddles. We get another capsule. We're having all sorts of those uncovered in today's episode. Pick up some bananas, just in case we need them. Okay, go, go, go. I did see another crack in the floor over this way, and I also hear the cries of a little waddle day. Are you over here, buddy? Oh my, so there's a pipe to bust? Fly up? There is so much going on. Um. Oh, okay, so let's get you. That's the fourth and final hidden waddle day. So we just have to find out, oh my, don't fall. What's next? Ooh, what's in here? The final challenge, check inside the shipping container. Wow, so we did everything on the first try. Look at us. We're actually getting a little better at uh, exploring the world of Kirby. So how do I get across here? Do I just have to spit it out and fly across? I suppose so. Watch out for the little drill guy. Okay. Hmm. See, I guess we're good just to go up these little escalators that unfortunately are not working. Oh my. Can I just knock that back at him? I can knock it away at the least. Gotcha. And that should be the end of the level. I don't see anything else to grab. So there we go, finally a level we get done on the first try with everything. Feel good about that. Ta-da, stage cleared. So we cleared the stage, saved the hidden model, these stand on top of two trains, two secret passages, and check inside the shipping container. That one was pretty straightforward, but still, lots of fun. We get ourselves some more capsules, like Sir Kibble, which is a repeat. Ooh, this is new. This is uh, the Nocodile. This robust swimmer has a powerful jaw. It floats on the water surface, watching and waiting for its prey. Its hide is as tough as armor, so you'll need something bigger than a copy ability to take him down. Do you think a mouthful mode would do the trick? It definitely does. We're not quite done though, there's still more. We get the rental lockers, and one more from volume one, the blue star coin. There's gotta be something we could do with repeats, you know? Cause it feels like we're getting quite a lot of them at this point. Okay, so with that done, another level has unveiled itself, Windy Freezing Seas. Oh my. That sounds like quite a lot to deal with. But nonetheless, we'll go for it. So happy to see that. We get Metro on Ice completed on the first time through, and we get a couple of bonus missions opened up. So let's try this out, right over here. Winter, f we're Windy Freezing Seas. I think uh, Elfin wants us to check out a new building at the Waddle Dee Town, which we'll do soon enough, but not right now. Oh my. So we're on rooftops of buildings that have been totally covered in water. The winds are super tough. I'm gonna get rid of you just in case. Oh no. Maybe the needle ability would have been nice. We could sort of plant those needles on the ground and stay where we need to be. Gotta use the wind to our advantage to make these super jumps. Wow. Okay. This is gonna be tough, isn't it? I'll try my best to manage all this wind. Luckily, the hammer ability is really strong. So we should be able to, whoa. Got it. Can I get rid of this thing? No, it's invincible. There's some food. Gotcha. What's down this way? It's the pipe. Sure. We're rolling. Might have to jump. There we go, whoa! And through the cave, that was so cool. Ouch, you okay Kirby, you're all, you're all flattened out. Okay, so it looks like it wants me to get the needle ability, but we saved one out of five hidden waddle -dees, so I'll have to keep looking around. I'll take the needle ability. It seems pretty useful. Whoa, okay, don't fall into the water. Gotcha. And now he seems to be a dead end. Oh, we froze that guy. 
Here's a capsule for us. Don't mind if I do. And I guess we're good to go. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much else around here, so we'll keep going through the door. And it looks like there's some stuff we can break down there. Oh yeah, we'll be able to ride the boat again. Okay, that's good. I'll deal with that in just a moment. I wanna get rid of enemies first. Ow, that hit me. What did I get there? I don't know what I ate. <laughs> gotcha, that's what I wanted. Okay, back over here then. I'll grab this thing. Oh, more enemies. Got him. We should just have not too much of a problem hopping on the boat and riding around. So first I'll break that open just so I know where to go, but I do wanna go back and just make it for sure. Is there anything over here? Not really. Okay, so. Char through you, these two. So right now this seems pretty straightforward. We're supposed to go through, grab the coins. Oh, what about this thing? Some food to enjoy, three meals at sea. Oh, apparently we've already done some of that. Okay, so just pick up whatever food we see. Gotta make extra sure of that. So we could hop up on there, but what's this way? I don't know which way I'm supposed to go, which way's a bonus. Sort of hard to tell. I will go, why well, I hear a waddle dee. Let me spit this out real fast and float over this way, because I see something. Oh, I need the fire ability. Okay, there's so much going on here. Okay, so this is a warp star, so we'll definitely be using that to get around later. So I think I will backtrack in a moment here, but in the meantime, we saved the waddle dee. Yeah, we missed one, so we'll go back. No worries. I hope it doesn't disappear. We take too long. We're fine, though. Okay, back on the boat. And we'll get back to it. So. Right up here is where I needed to go. I'll get rid of this for now. Oh, actually, no, I need it. I might get hit. No, I'm fine. Oh yeah, I see a little waddle dee right down that way. So let's definitely save you. Oh, that lowers the spike wall. I see. Gotcha. So now I can hop that. God, Kirby looks so ridiculous. I love it. I have the boat right into you guys. Oh, there might be the third meal at sea. There we go, Wally number two. Saved. Come on, let's try to grab this. And there we go, enjoy three meals at sea. That's a good one to get done. We are missing something else though. Hmm. I didn't see anything else, but we'll keep going and hopefully we do eventually discover it. But. That looks like everything here. So I'm just gonna keep climbing. Try this out. Whoa. Okay, now the wind's really strong. We can't hop in this water. The water's too cold and will just end up freezing us. But I do see some stuff that we can get with the fire ability. That's nice. Whoa, whoa! Okay, there's a little, let me let me get you then. <laughs> I was gonna try to get that coin, but I don't wanna get blown past. Save the hidden waddledies, four out of five. Is there anything down there? No? Okay. But I did get those coins, which is nice. Oh my. Okay, luckily that blocks it. And can I run on the fourth forklift? The scissor mouth, scissor lift mouth. Oh, ow. I do see right up this way. No, wait. Just like that. What's inside the chest? Whoa, we get a blueprint. You got the dragon fire blueprint. Now you can evolve the fire ability. Take it to Waddle Dee's weapon shop. So there are multiple evolutions for weapons. That's exciting because we have the evolved fire weapon right now, the volcano fire. So that's good to know that there's multiple evolutions for weapons. Um, I guess I'll just grab a new one since it's right there. And what's going on inside of here? Of the lantern to light up, which will lead me way over there. Excuse me. Gotcha. Whoa! Jump into the secret underground room. 
So is that the first one or the third one? The third one. So I did miss something earlier on, which is pretty surprising. I feel like I was quite thorough. I'll get rid of you so you're not firing at me. So I guess we need to get on the scissor lift, lift mouth. And I might want to take a look around to see. I think I understand. I need to fire that, eat this, and then move over as fast as we can. I probably should try to time it with this thing. Change the height so that I can hop, jump. Wait, no, wait, got it. <laughs> that was scary. But we did figure it out the first try, which is great. And where are we going? Hopefully to the final waddle dee. There you are, buddy. Saved ya. So that's five out of five. So the only thing we missed is the very first thing, which is unfortunate. I tried to get it. Oh my, there's enemies. Okay, the last one. So that wasn't so bad. Just need to get onto the lift to press that button. And I guess, oh my, with the with the back push of the wind, we we're able to make our way through. And I see one last capsule waiting for us. Don't mind if I do. Grab that. There's been a ton of capsules in this world, which is real nice. And we can save the main group of waddledies. So we got everything done but one thing, which isn't too bad. Yeah, stage cleared. Cleared the stage, save five hidden waddledies, enjoy three meals, jump into the secret underground room, and find a cave that's safe from the wind. Which I feel like I would have seen a cave. I feel like we had to hop into caves, but I guess not. I'll have to look around a little bit extra this time as we get some more stuff. That was Shotso, which is a repeat. Another Shotso, just two Shotsos. Great. I would thought that we'd gotten more than two capsules. Weird. Thought we had gotten at least three. I guess not. But the next level's popping up, which is the Battle of Blizzard Bridge. Whoa. We'll definitely check out that soon. But for right now, we need to head back into windy, freezing seas and find that final Waddle Couple more bonus levels popping up, bonus challenges. Okay, let's go for it again. Oh, is that it to the left right over there? I can't believe I didn't see this before. Oh, can I get to it though? Come on, come on, got it. Whoa, how did I not see this before? Find the key that's safe from the wind. Completely look at the cute little foxes. I don't wanna wake them up. They're so adorable, I wanna leave them. Hello. You can also just sit with them too. Oh, this game is so cute. All right, well, I definitely don't want to bother them, even though I just came in here and stole all their stuff. So maybe they will just be upset either way. Regardless, I should be able to end the level now and uh, move on to the next one. Okay, so there's that level done. And I gotta say, we are making our way through these pretty quick, even if we are missing occasional things. I feel like we definitely are making our way through this world faster than we normally do compared to the other ones. Anyways, over this way, we have our final level before the boss fight, the Battle of Blizzard Bridge. I wonder, I guess there's gonna be a lot of fighting here. We're battling on a bridge. Sounds like a lot of fun. Whoa, very misty. Can I backtrack here? I can't. Okay, looks like there's a lot of area behind us, but I just wanted to make sure. Okay, we're going in, this music. Really setting the tone. Okay. So I might have to choose one of these guys to fight. If there's gonna be a lot of fighting, I would rather have more ranged ability, and Ranger is definitely it for me. Oh my, Wild Edge already. So I don't have too much health going into this because I rushed through the previous level. So I may just wanna back up and fire at you, but I can use my tomato if I have to, the max tomato. All right, I have to sneak behind you, keep hitting you from here. So far, so good. Oh no, dodge out for sure. Yeah, no problem. Come on, you're almost done. Here comes that shield again. I'm trying to just sneak around you. Well, oh, that worked pretty well. And we're done, nice. Oh yeah, so I gotta beat you up if I don't wanna take you. Oh, but the new sword ability, it seems so cool. I gotta grab it. Let's go ahead and drop that. Try it out, the gigant sword. But there's something to the left. Grab that in a moment. First, let me uh, slice you away. What's going on in here? Ooh, mystery area. Oh, that's not what I meant. I thought I was popping up on the left side, not the right. Go back in. 
And what do we have to do here? First, slice you away. Then that has to land on that platform. Luckily it did. And I guess I just need to pick it up. And then slam on you guys. Whoa, that was close. Oh, there's a wanted poster. Let me get rid of that. Remove four wanted posters. Always good to make sure. So obviously there is something right down here and it is a bit of food and a waddle dee, which is the first of five. So I'll have to look all over for that. And also be careful to find some hidden posters along the way. Okay, so I think we're good just to continue forward. Or I'm sure a challenge, yep, is about to come at us. Farina again. Oh my. Okay, you're gonna spin. I can spin too, though. Oh, okay, but I didn't. <laughs> You need to get used to the bigger sword, which honestly, you know, is overall better. It does a lot more damage. Oh gosh. Oh, I tried to jump, but I was mid-swing. That happens a lot to me in Kirby games. I'll be trying to jump, but then I accidentally attack, and then Kirby's too busy attacking to be able to jump. Okay. Oh, that was huge! Oh my goodness. That's a huge charge up, of course but it does so much damage. Crazy. Gosh, yeah. So we could take the tornado ability here. I don't think it's the best for fighting though, so I'll leave it be, grab some coins, and keep it moving. I do see over this way though, something. Okay, so I need another, I guess I need tornado. But we have the floor tornado. And I guess I'll just activate that. Try not to land in the water, please. There you go. Oh, we have to be fast with that. Only so much time here. Whoa, oh my gosh. I had to sort of do a leap of faith there while firing. But there's our second waddle dee saved. So it looks like there's a bit of a pattern going on where we sort of, What's it called? We save a waddle dee, or we take out some enemies and then we save a waddle dee. I need to look around for more wanted posters though. Like what's up here? Something, aha, got it. So that's the second one poster. I'm guessing that means there's gonna be a wanted poster in each of the waddle dee rooms then. No matter what, I'll look all over for him. Take you out, okay. These are some scary jumps, but I get a capsule for it. And maybe I'll try the bomb ability. This one's always good for fighting opponents, so. Worth giving it a try. Wild bonkers. Okay, I'm not throwing them far enough. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that hurt, unfortunate. We get out of the way. Then we can start throwing these like crazy. Then when I have my distance, that's when I need to throw all of these. Okay, he's throwing his own at me. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him. If I get them close like that though, as you can see, he'll start getting hit by them, which is nice and usually what I'm trying to do, but it's a little tricky at times. Okay, there we go, there's the chain effect. Keep going, keep going, almost got him. There you go. Excellent. I think I'm gonna keep with bomb. Okay, so grab all that stuff. And then once again, there's gonna be another. Oh, I do need hammer actually. Please let that still be there. Okay, thank goodness. They weren't gonna pull any kind of trick on me like that. That wouldn't have been fair. See, so yeah, let's try this room. What is that gonna open up? A secret room on the other side. Ooh, very sneaky. And I hear a Waddle Dee crying out. Don't worry, buddy, I'm coming to save ya. Okay, looks like we do need more hammer ability stuff, but there is another one in poster. Three out of four. And there you are. So how are we getting across to ya? We have a limited amount of time here. Let's go for it. Yeah, it's good to sort of hit those when you jump. That way you don't have to slow down to hit them. Oh, we gotta take the car. I'm going, I'm going. Grab it, and we have to boost out of here. Oh man. Oh, that's gonna be a close one. Big jump, we got it. Awesome. We saved ya. <laughs> We're still a car. It's so adorable. And these are still. I don't think there's anything over here. I just wanted to check it out. Okay, good to go. I'll hop out of the car now. Since we found the wanted poster, I don't think there's too much going on in here beyond that. Okay. 
Trying to be a bit careful. We have some food here if we needed it. What about that Waddle Dee? Um, I see you down there. Perhaps there's a button up this way? No, that's not a button, that's food. So there's gotta be something, do I just jump down? That does save you. Save the hidden Waddle Dees, can I just jump, fly back up? I sure hope so. Come on, come on Kirby, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, okay, that's what we're supposed to do. That was a scary one. What do we have next? Oh gosh, it's Mr. Frosty. And who else? Two Mr. Frosties. Or Wild Frosty. Oh gosh, that's tough. Ah, and I got hit. Okay, keep going. <laughs> hit him in his butt. <laughs> oh gosh, watch out. <laughs> Focusing on both of them at the same time is not good. But I'm trying my best. Oh, that was actually, if you do get them to fall at the same time like that, maybe something. I'm worried, oh gosh, she's eating me. Worried this is gonna be the kind of level where it's like, oh, beat the whole thing without taking a hit for a waddle -dee. I do have the maximum tomato if I really need it for this one. That was rude. Come on. Almost got this one. There you go. So it's just me and this guy, which a one-on-one, -on -one, much easier to handle, of course. One more hit, one more hit, there it is. Okay, so we'll get rid of these two. I do. Even though I might end up needing the ice ability for something, I guess we'll find out. Pile coins. And the blueprint. You got the frosty ice blueprint. Now you can evolve the ice ability. Take it to Waddle Dee's weapon shop. I definitely will. So there are the Waddle Dee's we need to see, but there was still more to the right. And the capsule. Pretty cool. This was definitely a fun and intense level, but Maybe more. Yeah, with the ice ability, we can stop the burning wood. Hmm. Oh, I see. That's so cool. Okay, gonna freeze you so that I can get that food because I needed it. Okay, rude. Oh, so that platform is a limited time thing. So we're gonna try that again. The bun's not undone just yet though, so. Try again now, it's gonna go across. That's such a fun little concept though, I like it. Pick up the pipe, and get to rolling. Go right through that, so cool. And there's our final poster. Four out of four. I don't see anything over this way. I will grab this though. Good job, Kirby. Five out of five. But that's all we've done, is remove the four wanted posters. I don't see anything else around here. Huh. See, we still missed a bunch of other stuff. And I'm not really sure what I gotta do. Is there anything over here, maybe? No? Hmm. What about on the other side? Because clearly that's not it. It sort of looks like we can bust into here, doesn't it? Hmm. But I'm really not seeing much. Okay, well, unfortunate that I missed two challenges. It must have been some kind of like, like a feat of skill, defeating a boss without taking damage, or maybe going through the whole thing without taking damage. We'll find out. Stage cleared. At the least, we did find all the Waddle Dees, so maybe there's not too many more secret areas to find. Beat Twin Wild Frosty without getting hit. So that's the last one we fought. Unfortunately, wasn't quite able to do it without taking a hit. We'll, we'll try this time though. We do get Kirby, which of course we already had. The Lost Ducklings, so cute. That looks like that's all we got for this one. So we have to try again, defeat the two Wild Frosties without taking damage. It's certainly not gonna be easy, but I will try my best. But well, we got nine out of 11, so that's not too bad. So what is our boss fight gonna be? As all these, all these Waddle's march their way through. An unexpected Beast King, could that really be? Oh my, if that's who I think it is, the Waddle has helped you open the gate that was blocking your way. Head into the stage and challenge the boss that's guarding this territory. I'll do that soon enough. 
there's a couple of other things to figure out, of course, in the meantime. Get all these bonus levels popping up. And we have to hop back in, defeat the Wild Frosty, and find another mystery thing as well. Whoa, wait a minute. I did find something. I was looking around here earlier. I thought I had checked over this way, but this is the very, very beginning of the level. It gives me a Maximum Tomato. Okay, well, I guess I don't quite need it, but that's it. Take a detour and find a Maximum Tomato. Awesome. That was tricky though, because like, I had thought I looked over this way, I guess not. Because it seems I checked behind myself. Hmm. So we'll have to look a little more thoroughly for things like that later on, just in case, because we don't want to miss any secrets like that. But that is going to be one of them. Now we need to, once again, just beat Twin Wild Frosty. Okay, attempt number two. Hopefully I don't immediately get hit this time. What I want to do is I want to throw out two of these and then just focus on other stuff if I can. But man, oh man, do they just not give up in any way. Okay, they're gonna charge at me. We did some good damage. Oh, we got one. Well, at least we've damaged him pretty significantly. Okay, I don't know what his next move is. Okay, he's gonna try to get me. Scary, run, run. Okay, he didn't hit us there, but we got that guy. Whoa, big snowball. Ah! Okay, that didn't hit me though. It didn't hit me. It's just this me and this last guy. Okay. Wow. Oh, neither of those hit. But that did. We did it. Beat Twin Wild Frosty without getting hit. That was intense. Whew. Okay, we did it though. We got a bunch of coins for it. I already have that, so <laughs> don't need to worry about it. Oh my goodness. And I did it on the second try too. I'm pretty happy for that. We'll grab this. Okay, so definitely I liked it with the shocker ability. I thought that was pretty good. That is definitely, I think, the toughest one yet out of all the bonus Waddle Dees. But between Wild Frosty without getting hit and take a detour and find a maximum tomato. Pretty nice. And what do we get in this one? Ghost Gordo. Pretty nice as well. Okay, so that means that we're all suited up and ready to go and take on the boss of this area and hope for the best. But as you can see, two more Waddle Dees saved. And we're going to head over this way, an unexpected beast king. Whoa. So I'm a bit concerned about this one. I'm sure it's going to be a super difficult boss fight as per usual with really tough challenges, but we'll give it our best go and hopefully things turn out well. Okay, let's go for it. But oh, there's a little waddle dee thing here. I guess we'll grab this Maxim tomato, even though we don't need it, we're full health. So as per usual, we'll be trying to fight this boss and defeat it in under a minute and a half. I think it was last time. So I'm gonna guess that's gonna be the same timing here. We'll keep it the shock room. It helped me last time. Maybe it'll help me this time. We also probably have to defeat the boss without getting hit. This is like a huge, ominous castle. But I keep seeing the waddle cages. That's sort of confirming my suspicion. Somebody's letting are these the people capturing the Waddledees? I don't know. Or are they letting them free? Oh, it's one of the beast birds. Oh no! Wait, who is that on the right? No way. It can't be. There's no way he'd be capturing Waddledees. Oh my. Are the suspicions true? His royal nemesis, King DDD. No way. Why is he here? Why is he one of the bad guys here? I don't know. Maybe he's been taken over. That seems to happen in every Kirby game, right? Is that somebody sort of possesses King DDD? Okay, let's avoid that. Super slam. Whoa. Oh, he got me there. So I guess the no damage run isn't quite gonna work this time. That's okay. I'm just gonna keep throwing these out. I didn't hit him with either of those. That's just great. Jeez, okay. So of course, defeating King DDD, where'd he go? <laughs> Without taking damage, it's gonna take a couple of tries. Okay, not too bad so far though. I didn't hit him with those. Well, I only hit him with one of them, I think. 
They do so much damage, it's just a little tough to... Oh, that was good. Maybe I'll just hit him like this? That doesn't do too much. Where is he going? Whoa! He's super strong! I guess he was super buff in the last game, wasn't he? Oh my, run, run! That was close. Okay, where now? Run over that way. Start hitting them with these. I'm not close enough. Isn't that great? Okay, but one of those hit him. Ouch! Jump over that. Nice. Okay, that was good. He's almost down. We just gotta keep going. Have those two go through him. Oh no. Uh, here we go again. I think I'm just gonna let those rip. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, he had the jump. No, no, no. I'm just gonna go out of normally, like this. And we got him! That was a tough fight. But down goes DDD. Are you okay there, buddy? We do get ourselves clear without something. Uh, you got the homing bomb blueprint. Now you can evolve the bomb ability. Take it to all these weapon traps. So another secondary one. Clear without guarding, which I never do. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I just keep jumping on him. <laughs> okay, we'll stop messing with him. I don't know why he's evil in this one. Because sometimes he's evil, but he's possessed by things. I don't know if that's the case this time. He does look a bit different. But he's always working with the Waddledees. Are you okay, buddy? He got up. Uh, awkward. What do you, no, don't do it. Don't you do it. He's gonna do it. <laughs> what, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> he's got that cage ready. Clear the stage, swallow King DDD's hammer. I didn't even know that was an option. I'll have to try it. Uh, and then two other things are probably the time limit and damage. Don't you dare. Oh no! Elflin! Don't do it! Get back here! Oh no! Store little buddy. Aww. That's so sad! We're all on our own now. So what is that gonna open up into way down past the ocean? Oh my. In the next episode, we'll explore original wasteland. Wow. Elflin has been captured by King Dedede. Explore the next area to save Elflin. We'll start that with the wastes where life began. That's crazy. So I don't want to do that right now. We're gonna go back to the arrival continent. Which I suppose is what this is. That is such a huge jump. The Forbidden Island. Wow. Okay, so yeah, we're not quite done. We need to refight this battle and then expect the Beast King and try to do it a little bit better this time. We need to swallow King Dedede's hammer, beat it under a certain time frame, and of course, do it without taking any damage. Let's hope for the best. So I'm guessing that when he slams at me, I might be able to steal it. Not that time. But there was a moment before where he tried to slam his hammer at me and I was able to, oh gosh, here we go. Avoid it, but I'm guessing that's when I could have taken his hammer. Maybe that's the only opportunity, though. Oh, wait, here we go. What's he gonna do this time? He's gonna slam. Ah, oh, I don't think. One more time, one more time. Do it again. Darn. I think that's when I was supposed to take it. It's a little odd. The timing and everything. Ow, that hurt. Oh, no. So I might as well try again then. Or I guess I'll just keep trying with this because I, I haven't taken, or I have taken damage, and it's definitely taking me too long to do the time frame one. So I'm just gonna keep trying to steal his hammer and hopefully I can snag it. Whoa. That's not really what I wanted. Come on, try again. That doesn't work. I have to be able to do something here to take it. I think it's that moment he slams it down, there's just not a ton of time there. See, that's not what I'm looking for. We got all these stars. Give me that hammer. Ah. Oh. See, it doesn't work. So I'm hoping that maybe later on, 
because I think my my chakram are gone now. So, oh, that attack is not doing me any favors. Right here, I got it. Okay. So we swallowed his hammer. We figured it out. So I guess just pass up first phase, that's what you're supposed to do there. So we have that out of the way, I'll defeat King Dedede, and then we'll try it again, this time under the time frame, and without taking any damage. Okay, so I was able to beat it in 130 that time, but I did take damage. I basically redid what I did in the first time, just faster. Since I knew his moves and stuff, it wasn't too bad. Okay, come on, got him! I don't think I took any damage that time. The, the health missing was from a free, previous try, but, there we go, I think I did it. That one definitely took a couple of attempts, but it's really just taking your time and remembering his moves, which if you do it enough time, you'll eventually sort of pick up on them a bit easier. But there we go, clear without taking any damage. We've fully completed all the main levels for the Winter Horns level or world. That's awesome. Okay. So next episode, of course, we'll have to go to the next area and save Elfland. But for right now, we still have more to do. We need to complete all the bonus stages here and also go back to um, Waddle Dee Town, which usually, I guess, Elfland brings us back, but not this time. All oh, Waddle Dee saved. And you saved all the Waddle Dees and Winter Horns. Great. Okay, so before we move forward, we have bonus levels to do. So let's fly around and, oh, not do that. Fly around and see if we can't find any of the bonuses around here. Because remember, there's always two or three hidden bonus levels. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, so we'll look around for them and see what we can stumble upon. Any kind of interesting landmark is typically it. Most of these areas already have their bonus levels set up. You never know, there might be something around here. Like this one, that was just some coins. I don't know, I'm not really seeing much. Maybe this thing, little tree, here you go. You found a hidden portal to a treasure load. Let's see what's inside, later. Uh, I'm just looking for one more. I'm pretty sure. I guess I can count them up and see. Cause currently there are one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many are on the list? 10, so there is one missing somewhere. Where could it be? Ooh, maybe here? Nope, that's not it. Oh, right over here. Gotcha. You can see something sort of sunken down there. Not really sure what it is, because we'll find out soon enough. For right now, let's go all the way back to the beginning and get started with them all. There's 10 of them to get through. Let's start with Chain Bomb Treasure. Cast a line, Chain Bomb Trial. Now the Chain Bombs are typically pretty tough to get done, so hopefully we can figure this out without too much of an issue. Angling them up and such can be a problem now. Okay, so what do we wanna do here? Ready, go. I guess, whoa. Okay, so for this one it's just about aiming. Oh wait, there's still more. Huh. For another, okay, that missed. Okay, that missed, they're all missing. Okay, I couldn't even tell where Kirby was there for a moment. I definitely didn't do that quickly, but no, I got through it. Whoa, the water is definitely making that tricky. This is a huge current. All right, that got some of them. There's the last one. Maybe I should just keep throwing a bunch. The problem is that trying to run towards the water and throwing them ends up making me fall into the water. Okay, you're over there. Got it. This is definitely not looking good for my time, but hopefully this is the last one. Oh my. Yeah, it's so tough to do that. It, there's no wind, but it sort of feels like there is. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, get over here, Kirby. Got him. Of course, there's more. Okay, getting this one way down there. One last cluster of them. I don't think I'm really doing this one the best, especially since I keep falling in the water. Got it? Now you over there are our last one. And I think we just passed a minute 30, because we're at 125 now. So that goes to show, I think that if I could do this one a little bit better now that I know what I'm doing, 
I don't think a minute 30 should be too bad. It was definitely a weird one to figure out at first though. But hey, there's our first star of several we gotta collect in today's episode. Of course, we got a couple blueprints are on the way. Our sixth one. Okay, let's head back in. Okay, so instead of trying to avoid falling in the water, I just sort of embraced it, ran into the water, and just destroyed them from there. That honestly was so much faster, I think. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. 110, see, we, we shaved off 27 seconds from that, just hopping in the water and throwing it in there. We're throwing it in from there. So, you know what, if it works, it works. So what else do we have around here? Over this way, this is the light bulb mouth treasure. Shine and seek into the ghost maze. I always appreciate these ones. The ones where we just have a mouthful ability are typically easier. So if we can try this out and it goes better, I don't mind. I didn't see what the time is, so we're just gonna go for as fast as we can. So let's illuminate this. And we don't move as fast when we're illuminating. Oh. Was I supposed to, okay, well hopefully I went the right way because I have no clue. I think I was supposed to pay attention to the sign. To the left, okay. Go, go, go. Got it. Take a jump over the, the ow, spikes. <laughs> you gotta be careful. So I guess one thing that could also help with this area is just memorization. Go to the left. No, come on, you're kidding. I definitely jumped. Oh no, now I feel like I'm stuck. No, I can make it. Okay, jump across. Watch out for the spikes. Need to, oh, I can't make that jump. That's deceptive. I'm gonna guess it's to the right though, because I feel like I might just have to go on it on a whim because we're running out of time. That was the right direction. It wasn't, oh, they did left twice. <laughs> Should have known. Oh man, I keep missing the jumps up. I'm pretty sure, yeah, if I do that again, I'm gonna die, which is not good. Okay, got it. Could use a tomato here, but gosh darn it. <laughs> oh no, that's actually our first time dying. It's just jumping with it is so weird. Failed. Oh no. We'll try again. Does it tell? 110. So we need to get there before 50 seconds on the clock. So I guess we'll get to see if it's the same. Again, it looks like it. So you could just memorize it. Okay. Let's so get left. The jump, I forgot about the spikes again. Let's so get left another time. Careful here. So it's left three times in a row. That's sorta of silly. Got it. Oh no, no, I guess it does change. So you can't memorize it. All right, well it is what it is. It doesn't look like we're gonna get the timer. No, it's neither. Okay. That's why I'm just being silly. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. See, there goes the uh, the timer, but once we figure out what to do here, it should be much easier. Oh, come on. I, I don't know why, but the jump is so delayed. Because I'll jump and it just doesn't go through. But also I feel rushed because you know there's a timer and everything. And it's, it's ringing at me. Okay. And here's the last jump. So obviously that was not the time we needed. But now that I know where to go and hopefully how to time this jumps, I can save that 30 seconds that I lost there. And there we go, I got it. Once again, once you memorize which way to go, it's not really that difficult. It's 57 seconds, we did it with 12 second lead time just about more or less, give or take. So there's two challenge levels done. There's still plenty more to find. Let's try this one up here, the time crash treasure. Stop time, slow world scramble. So we're using the new time crash ability we got in the last episode, with the evolution of it. 
I'm giving it a try here. Okay, so I guess we just slow everything down and can just zoom through. And it also slows down the timer, which is really neat. So what's our total time? Seven seconds. Okay. Uh, so the more enemies we hit, the more the sl time slows down then, it seems. Or at least the longer this can go on for. So I think it is important to hit every enemy here and not get hit. And if that sort of collides inwards, I think that means that we've run out of time. I guess we've ran out of not being able to run out of time. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Whoa, there we go, that was good. Come on, come on, come on. Can we get there in time? Got it. But was that seven seconds? I guess we'll have to find out. Yeah, 4.75, that's insane. I love how that works. Very cool. So first time through and everything, we get a rare stone, we get the timer. Okay, so now we gotta get back onto the other side as we get our eighth star stone. So we'll try from back over here. There was one over here. This is the Pencil Drills Treasure, Dig and Dash, Path of Fences. Huh, see we haven't really used this too much. So it'll be interesting to try out the Pencil Drill. The last drill mission we did though was real difficult, so I'm a bit worried about that. Pop out there, dig down. Gotcha. We'll just sort of drill past all that. And I guess, come on, go, go, go. Oh, darn. No, come on, that was so awkward. Got it. And then go, go, go. Come on, Kirby. So now we have to hit all these. Not too bad. That's gonna let us through. And that's the end of it. So let's hope that we did it quick enough. I don't think we did. I don't know what the time was for. Ah, 45, so pretty close. So if I don't make some silly mistakes like I did along the way, I think saving five seconds really shouldn't be too bad. But I guess we'll find out when I hop back in in just a moment. Okay, much better that time. I think that saved all the time I needed. Guess we're about to find out. Yeah, we're good, 42. So even saved a little extra time. So we're definitely making our way through missions like these a bit faster than we were at the beginning of the series, which is great to see. Usually it only takes me one or two extra tries to get everything done. The Clutter Needle Treasure. Roll up and throw, Clutter Needle Trial. The last needle one was a bit challenging now, so we'll give this a go and see if it's any better. Okay, so gotta roll them up and then throw them over to hit that, gotcha. We'll try that again here. I guess I need to pick that stuff up and then toss it at you. Get you three, toss it over. These four, toss it over. Pretty good, pretty good. And I'm guessing, I gotta go this way. So more of the same deal over this way. I like this so far, this is actually pretty fun. Gotcha. Gotcha. Aiming is not too hard too, it goes you know, right where I want it to. Nice. So that's all of them. I'll get an early jump over, because I know the platform's gonna pop up. Okay, this one looks a little tricky. Whoa, that was neat though. Oh gosh, I went a little too far. Okay, for this one, just gonna be fast about it. See ya. Was that all of them? It was. So I'm just gonna jump across as soon as it lets me. And we got it. At 152.44, was that enough? I mean, I feel like time-wise we did really good, and the game agrees over 12 seconds less than what we needed, so that's pretty good. Okay, so what's going on up this way? I think we have four more levels, maybe five left to tackle. This one right here is Ice Treasure. Sliding road, high speeding, or high speed skating. Okay, let's give it a go. 
The skating in this game is pretty fun. So hopefully this goes well, oh my. So we can double tap B to do that move. And I guess that'll also destroy boxes for us. Good to know. Excellent. So I need to jump over that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh man. Oh, that's gonna be a tricky jump, but we got it. Oh, that was close. That was real close. So there's a lot of uh, super tight movements we gotta do here. But so far, so good. Gotta go through all the snowmen. Somehow that didn't really send them flying. It doesn't matter though. I think we got it. That was a fun one. 41, yeah, 45. So as long as you don't get caught up on anything, you really could just get that one done first try. Definitely enjoyed that. Next up. We'll get a star on that. Okay, yeah, there's still four more remaining, starting with Noble Ranger Treasure. Long shots, Noble Ranger Trial. Oh my, so you have the upgraded Ranger. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> the, the things right there, I wish we could just float over. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we can. So I guess we just shoot through them all like that. That's pretty interesting. Whoa, it's about timing. That's so cool. Okay. So I guess the idea there is not to charge it up too much. Oh no. Oh, that just made them angry. How'd I miss that one? Okay. Wait, was that it? Okay, that was not it. Whoa, they're dodging it. Not dodging that one. <laughs> oh gosh, missed him. Because I'm just trying to charge it up just enough that I get everything I need. Don't want to overcharge it because that's too much time. It just seems like two points into it. You can sort of hear the sound go off twice. Was that everything? No, it wasn't. It's so close. Okay, you almost hit us there, but luckily you didn't. Oh my, I really let it rip on that for no reason. Darn. Gotcha. Oh, I'm standing in a dangerous spot. Okay, the, the spot I changed to wasn't any less dangerous. I wonder if I can change the direction I'm shooting while I'm shooting, I haven't tried that. Okay, either way, we got to the end and got the start. The question is, do I need to do it again for the bonus time? I don't, awesome. Cause I could definitely see them making the time for that really difficult and having to do a lot to get through it, but they didn't and I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, three more remaining. I know one of them we need to go back to uh, Waddle D Town to figure out. But in the meantime, let's get the other two done first. We have Tornado Treasure, Triple Strike over Freezing Water. Okay, so just the normal tornado, not the evolved one. Okay, ready, go. So we cannot touch that water. Gotta be real careful about that. Oh no, okay, we got it. But it really isn't all that much different than if there were spikes on the floor. It's just a bit more thematic for the area. Okay, three more buttons to press. And we got him, no problem. Gotta go that way though. And that's the star already, wow, that was quick. Very short level, but did we get within the time? Yes, we did. We're doing really well with these. Happy to see it, a couple of them now on the very first try. Okay, so what's next? On the side here, we have Carmouth Treasure. These are always fun. Speed and Swerve Conveyor Circuit. Under 40 seconds is the main goal. Just anything with Carmouth is usually a good time. Okay, let's give it a go. I gotta knock over this bridge, whoa. I guess we'll speed through you. 
I don't really have to, though. If anything, I feel like that would slow me down a little bit. It's charging through everything, because you can see it sort of gets us caught up. Whoa, the rings! That's fun. Yeah, jump a lot on these conveyor belts and see if that maybe changes how I can speed through it. Oh, man. Ah, oh, that's not good for my time. That probably has ended my chances. But if I could have made that jump. Okay, this is where it's tough, but if we can figure this out now so that the second try can get it done, that'd be great. Okay, so then we go through the center, jump through that. Whoa, this gets real tricky. So before we go, just to save myself some time, I wanna retry, because I know that wasn't enough for the timer. I wanna try this again. So I just need to get it by the time that 20 seconds hits the clock. That'll be 40 seconds, you know, after it starts on the minute. So if I don't hit you guys, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Where we want to jump past the stuff because I think it'll save me some time. This jump was real tricky. Oh man, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, I can make the jump, just angling is not the best. 29, so we have less than 10 seconds to get there. Can we do it in time? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, not quite, but very close that time. If I can just get that jump right, I think it'll be fine. Got it, okay, there's that jump done. So now we just have to zoom through all this, make this jump through the center and hope I don't fall anymore. Go for it, over to the left, and then back to the center. And even then it was super duper close, within a second of the timer, we barely got it, wow. Okay, so we're back over 8,000 coins as well. I think that's every, bonus treasure mission besides the one where we have to go back to Waddle Town to unlock that ability. So we'll go and do that now. But I will double check the list just to be sure. Okay, nice star. Okay, stage list. And then treasure road. See, that's everything except for that one. So we'll go back to Waddle Town. I'm sure there's lots to do here which we'll tackle a little bit later in today's episode. I think some new buildings as well, so I'm sure it's gonna show it to us. Oh, poor Bandana Waddle Dee's looking a little down. Whoa, it's a pond! That's so cool. The 155 Waddle Dees you saved work together to make the town even bigger. Oh, it's a little fishing pond. You can now play flash fishing. Try to land some big catches. Whoa, we got a store. The 145 Waddle Dees you received work together to rebuild Waddle Dees item shop. Buy a few items to help you on your adventure. Whoa, what is this? The 180 Waddle Dees you received work together to rebuild the games booth. Now you can play Tilt and Roll Kirby. Huh. And of course, we do have more abilities that can be evolved, including the bomb ability, fire ability, ice ability, I think that's it. It's only three this time. That's still a good amount. Hey, buddy. Elf one got captured by King Dedede? That sounds odd, even for him. I hope they're both okay. We can't just stand around. Let's go save Elf one. All right, so I guess for right now, we'll go into here and we will upgrade our abilities. I'm not sure which one we needed. Wow, you have so many new blueprints to give me. All right, let me get my tools ready. Then we'll get this evolution started. So as you can see, the fire ability can upgrade to the dragon fire. The chain bomb can evolve, evolve into the homing bomb. And then lastly, our ice ability can evolve into frosty ice. That's the only new ability that hasn't gotten an evolution yet. I think this is the one we needed. Guess we'll find out. Dragon Fire Blueprint, 800 coins and three stars. You got it. So the first evolution of today, out of three. Let's see what we got. Waddle these hard at work. So the Dragon Fire, this sounds like it could be pretty ferocious. The fire ability has evolved into Dragon Fire. The bright purple flame. Even has like a dragon claw around Kirby's head and the, the wings, that's so cool. With dragon fire, you can use burn your burn attack to fly really far by holding down B. Huh. Okay. 
So let's try that on. Whoa! That's beautiful. I love it. And then we could still push out some flames after. That is ridiculous. Look at the color on that. Okay, let's check out this new bomb upgrade. This is the homing bomb for 803 stars again. Okay, let's go for it. So our bombs are about to get even better, even more bombastic. Whoa, the bomb ability has evolved into the homing bomb. And what's different about this one, I wonder? The homing bomb ability's attack power will increase when bombs gather near each other to form a chain. Bigger, longer chains mean bigger, badder booms. So that seems the same as before, but I guess better. It's like the chaining bomb, but even better. So I guess there really isn't too much of a use for that one anymore. Whoa, and they roll around. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I love it. So let's upgrade the ice ability from ice to frosty ice. This one isn't as expensive, which I appreciate. Okay, let's get to it. Our third and final ability upgrade for today. Hopefully it's a good one. I'm guessing this is gonna look like Wild Frosty, yep. <laughs> Into Frosty Ice. That's so cute though, I love it. Skating around. The ice ability will let you use freezing breath to stop enemies in their track. Your freezing attacks will even make larger enemies like bosses stop moving for a while. That's good. Okay. Oh, it makes a little frozen frosty that I can knock around. That's so interesting. I love it. And we can still do this move. It makes little frosties behind us. Oh, it's so adorable. I love it. Okay, so very cool upgrades here. We'll of course be, uh, using those a bit more in upcoming videos. But for right now, we want to move out of here and I think back to the main world so that we can take on that last challenge, which I think needed that dragon fire. We're gonna find out together. So you're right over this way. Do I have it now? Meta Knight Sword Treasure. Okay, so no, I can't. You can't enter this treasure road without the Meta Knight Sword ability. Find its blueprint to bring it to Waddle Dee's weapon shop in town. Huh. So I guess that one unfortunately is gonna have to wait until later. Sorry about that, but in the meantime, let's go back to Waddle Dee Town again then, and I hope we can find other stuff. So I wonder how I get the Meta Knight Sword. Do I have to beat Meta Knight in the Coliseum? Maybe we should have a detour episode, stop focusing on the main mission and do some other stuff. But if we have other people to talk to, like you, how do you do, Kirby? Would you like to hear the latest info from around the world? Sure, since we haven't checked in on this. Ah, this blueprint in, is a tournament prize within the Coliseum. When I say car mouth cake, do you get a bit hungry? This item, that item has been eaten 706,126 times so far. The number of star coins you've collected so far is 14,807. And the combined total of star coins collected all over the world is 13,318,355,358,140. Would you like to hear more? Not for now. So I think I do have to beat the Coliseum to actually get that sword ability. So either that's something we could save for later or maybe I could do it next episode. But right now I wanted to see what other new stuff is going on. Cause I think, yeah, I can wave at everybody. Hey guys. <laughs> so cute. But as you can see, there is something to do here. There's a fishing mini game. This is all stuff I wanted to check out later. Whoa, I guess this is the biggest fish that's been caught. <laughs> I guess we could give it a try just to see how it works. Flash fishing. Press the right buttons. When a fish bites, button icons will appear. Press the correct button as fast as you can. Don't let them get away. Keep them, keep on catching. If you catch several fish in a row, you'll eventually snag a big one. Press the buttons quickly and try to f for a high score. Okay, let's try to fish then. X, okay, I got it. Come on. Ah, oh, it's a cute little guy. I love Kirby's little fishing hat. All right, so we got 176 grams there. So that's one coin. So we could keep fishing, but I think I'm gonna save most of those mini games for another time so that we can sort of have them all focused on one episode. I just wanted to see, obviously we shopped around, we got our abilities. What other new buildings are up this way? There was another shop that I definitely wanna take a look at over here. So what's the deal with this one? 
Waddle Dee's Item Shop. Hi there, welcome to Waddle Dee's Item Shop. We sell items that can give you temporary power boosts in a few different ways. You can even use more than one at a time, whether you mix a few together or just double one up, or du double up on one. You can only take one item with you at a time though. Keep that in mind. So, which item would you like, Kirby? We have Life Up, doubles your health. Your health cannot exceed double the normal amount. Attack Boost, increase your attack power for 200 seconds. Stack up the five at once, whoa. And then we have the Speed Boost, increase your speed for 200 seconds. Stack up the five at once. Okay, so what if I wanted to boost my attack power? Attack Boost, you got it, that'll be 150. It's not too expensive. And I can use these anywhere? Thanks for your purchase. When you're ready to use this stock item, just hold down X. So that one over my Maxim Tomato. That's sort of a shame. So I can't have more than one at once though? I guess I can stack more of one of the same. Tilt and Roll Kirby. Step right up, get your hands on the latest, greatest game in town. Tilt and Roll Kirby. Come and try it out sometime, Kirby. Huh, that seems neat. Just stand in front of the game at my booth and then press A to play. Okay, I might try this real fast just to get a little look at it. Roll around to reach the goal. Tilt the controller to guide the balls to the goal markers. If you successfully reach each goal, you'll win a reward. Try harder difficulties to win great rewards. Okay, so like I said, I'll try once just to sort of give a look at this stuff. Oh, this is reminding me of, uh, there was a game on the Nintendo DS that was like this. I forget what it's called right now. He plays a little ball, Kirby, so we can sort of try to, oh gosh, that's risky though. Ah, uh, okay, so I'll have to be careful with that kind of thing. We'll try that a little bit more later, but seeing how there's a lot of mini games and I'm sure there's sort of completion with them, I do plan on having an episode later on where we just focus on getting through all the mini games. But I think that's everything, so we should be good to plop down this way. Now, I've completed my collection as much as I can for volume one. There was some stuff that I just can't quite get yet for whatever reason. You can earn this figure by clearing Frenzy Gig at the Waddle Dee Cafe. Okay. So I guess we can get these ones by just doing different things. You can get, earn this figure by listening to a lot of wise Waddle Dee's readings. So like I said, we'll have a whole episode exploring the town a bit more once we unlock most of it. For right now, if I can work on more of volume two, where there's a lot of normal figures to get, we might as well try. Okay, let's go for it. What can we find in volume two? An order of sushi, nice. Uh, a crab, <laughs> a cute little guy. Okay. Surprise alien board from uh, Wondaria. A race car, because we've gotten the normal car, but now we have the race car. Runaway parade car, oh yeah. Lots of stuff from Wondaria, it seems, including another crab. Well, that was from the first world, really. The big tur the turtle, alligator. I don't know why I wanted to say turtle. Uh, we already got this earlier in today's episode though, the Nocodile. A Fanta, that's new. Nothing too much with descriptions just yet. Oh, here we go. Volcano Fire Kirby. Boom, whoosh. This volcano is erupting. Harness the power of geothermal energy to spew lava in front of you. Blaze through enemies and make them feel the heat. Sounds good. Very fun ability, but now I have the Dragon Fire, which is what I'm enjoying. A tin of fish. And a chocolate bar. Oh, here we go. We got the Balloon Meister. Balloon Meister loves to do tricks. No one knows where it learned them. Perhaps it's hereditary? Whatever it is, the tricks are fun. Just don't let the ball touch you. Try to inhale it inside and instead to get the bomb ability. Hey, wait, where did I get that ball? I like it, very cool. It's a very cute enemy. Oh, here we go, we get Tornado Kirby. Pull enemies, blocks, and stars into your cyclone. Then release them to deal damage. This ability's controls might make you feel dizzy. So whirl, swirl, and twirl, but not try not to hurl. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Now we have, ooh, the Noble Ranger Kirby. The most experienced of marksmen requires the fanciest of hats. Fire a barrage of shots with dual-wielded pop guns. You can release a flurry of charged shots too. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> nice. 
So of course I'm not gonna open all of them up here, but whoa, we get the four star boss, the unfriendly Fronds Tropic Woods. Fresh ocean air and warm sunlight help the tropic woods grow big and strong. Its giant coconuts will cause big explosions after they drop. It is non-exploding coconuts too, and they're supposed to be delicious. Few have ever tasted them, but many have tried. Wow, okay. Cool to get that, and I don't think that's the only four star one in volume two. The Kirby Burger, <laughs> beautiful. Oh, here we go, Time Crash Kirby. We didn't think the Crash Abilities Boom could get any biggest-er, but this one can break time itself. Slow down time, then act fast to cause some real destruction. It really is crazy the more you think about it. Maybe it's best not to. We got Wolf. And Drill Kirby, which we already have, so that's not new. We'll go for a couple more here, but then we'll save the rest for another episode, I think. The face cut out photo stand. That was an adorable moment. It makes me miss Elflin. We gotta get to next episode so we can save them. And we got Carmouth Cake. Delectable. Whoa, here we go. Ringmouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire metal ring into his mouth. Huff and puff out blasts of air to blow sand away, defeat enemies, or spin windmills. Okay, let's go for three more. Here we go, the clutter needle. Pointy, spiky clutter all rolled up into the, to a ball. It's needles upon needles. Watch, what a powerful weapon. Roll forward, then release to send sharp clutter flying all around, out around you, ouch. Okay, two more. I already got Drill Kirby, and then one more. Get the shortcake. Okay, so some very cool things are, we made some decent progress with volume two then, if we take a look. We still have plenty more to go, but we made a decent little dent. Oh, this is volume one again. So I think volume two is only slightly smaller. So we'll definitely keep working through all that kind of stuff. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.